Sometimes when you're supporting users with AX, you might get problems of uh, performance on opening forms. So it's a little hard to track um, it, what the user opened during the session, how long did it take, and stuff like that. There is so there is an option to um, track that information. Um, you can do that with the client access log. So you can enable that. I'm just going to jump over to SQL. So this is SQL Enterprise Manager and I'm going to do a select on the user info table. So if I select on there uh, in my AX database you'll see in this case I've selected a field which is the client access level, uh, log level and you'll see that some of these in this case the admin because I've logged in as the demo user I've set to two so there's two levels of detail level one which will just log open form open and close events and form part open and close events and then level two will record a lot more detail in terms of refreshes sorting and and stuff like that um, and so if you're having a problem with a user reporting a specific form or specific areas of the application that's performing slowly you can turn on the logging and try to trace that so it you there's not a ui to do the turning on um, you have to do it with a query here so all I've done is an update query set that client access log equal to 2 in this case where the user is equal to admin so all these admin users now um, the user could be in this um, uh, user info table multiple times based on the partition so there'll be one user partition for example um, so in this case I've set the user um, to log detail. Now to actually um, enable that the user will have to close and open the session but once the user has done that um, then they don't have to do anything else they can just go on and, and um, start doing their activity. Now you might want to leave it on for a, a week or a day or a period that you're going to try to monitor um, and then the user doesn't really need to do anything different. Um, so then once you've captured some data over a period of time you can import and I'll include the list to the blog where you can download this project from. So this project is put together um, by uh, one of the folks in the product team that will allow you to have a look at the detail in that log. So I'm going to open it up because I've run it a few times and captured some data so that we can see some output here. Um, to do that you need to check for more logs. This will then break apart the log information because what's actually stored in that log um, uh, file is actually a, a, or database table is actually an event so you can't really read it from SQL. You'll have to pull apart the event information and that's what's um, that's what the little project is doing in these forms. So when the logs are loaded um, it gives you detail. Now you can filter and find here but of course every um, uh, form in AX you can export to Excel. So if we export these to Excel for example then I'll get this data into Excel and then this gives you the ability then to sort of say well is it a specific form so I could go and look at um, the customer table form for example so I can see in this case if we just filter on form open events for example then I can see that this form has been opened uh, a number of times, about six times. And if I filter, or if you look at the duration, of course you can um, sort, um, you know, in, in Excel. So sort by duration, for example. So largest to um, smaller. So, so you'll see one duration here is 51,000 milliseconds down to two, uh, 2,300, for example. So on average um, other than this one opening time so this is probably the first time that I opened a client for example otherwise they're, on average they're opening fairly consistently now you could then do things like sort by date and time um, and so this would give you is there a specific time uh, in the day for example that um, 
a user's experiencing a problem. So you could look at over time did the open duration change. So then that would maybe give you a time period to go and look at is there something else happening in the system at that time period? Um, you know, and then the users being affected. So that could be helpful if the user saying, well in the middle of the day the system just slows down for example so this will give you some quick indicators to sort of say well what were they doing and what particular forms and then you can go and use more sophisticated tools like the trace parser for example or something like that um, now because it's in Excel you could then also use a uh, pivot table so you know you could go and put this in a pivot table uh, and then you can go and search for data. So you could go and search for a user ID, you could filter on a specific form event, um, I could do a count of the session ID um, if I want to do a count of something. So let's do a count and then we could do the specific form name. So we could see for example then that these are all the forms that that user is using. So um, uh, there's and I've got all events turned on, so let's open, um, turn on uh, form open events, for example, if that's where the user's reporting a problem. So these are all the forms that the users are uh, open, so vendor, uh, purchase orders, uh, customers, for example. Um, and so you can see how many times they're opening it. Now, this could also give you another indicator is. Um, is the user reporting it slow because they keep opening the same form um, so that might be a way to sort of go and change or, or look at what they're doing to then change their um, education so for example if they're opening a customer in the details form all the time um, can you teach them to uh, use the filtering on the list page and then do a transaction from the list page so they're not opening the details all the time or if they are opening the details form um, show them how to use the switch to the grid filter um, and so then they keep the form open um, but they just change their filtering for example so that could also help improve their work activity um, if the system's behaving okay but they're they're just opening forms all the time so that's a quick walk through um, now if you want to turn it off you'd have to go and run the query again to do an update um, and set this back to zero um, the client access log back to zero and then of course you'd turn off that logging now it doesn't um, obviously any logging is going to add a little bit to the overhead but um, you probably don't want to have this on all the time so you'll probably just want to turn it on for a specific period of when you're going to monitor it. It doesn't add that much overhead to the to the system so the user won't notice it too much in terms of it being on um, you know in their day-to-day -day activities but it's a simple way um, other than doing some more sophisticated um, tracing in SQL to see what the user is doing, how often they're using a specific form, how long it's being run for, that might give you some initial indicators to start tracing down uh, a specific performance problem. So that's a quick walkthrough of something called the client access log and again the project is available on a blog and I'll include that in the bottom of my post where you can get this project to actually see the form and pass the details in there.